Hey guys, it's Brad from Bushcraft Ridge doing a follow-up video in the continuing saga of the solar panels. Uh, I had some questions about what I ended up doing with the cords and my answer was a bunch of twist ties. And these, these twist ties are holding them pretty good. I'll probably get some zip ties just to be a little more secure there. But you see I ran them under here, got them down here and kind of did some cord management. And they're just kind of on there. Then with the four piece down to one, I guess it's like a reverse splitter. I just put that right there and use that. Did I say zip tie? I'm gonna get some zip ties. I just use these twist ties there and you can see I mean you, you can tell if you look but just I mean like in passing you can't really it doesn't look messy and then you see I have that right there it goes right down there and then I just have it to go to the inside there just have it hanging from right there but this is how much I got quite a bit of cord and then here's my um, battery bank starter pack that I showed you in a different video this is the Plano tub that I have and then eventually I'll have more batteries but right now it's just one 12 volt um, 105 Oh man, I've forgotten all the terminology. <laughs> watt hours. Is it watt hours? Why can't I read it on the battery? Anyways. <laughs> so here's the battery. This is the inverter that I was using out there that wasn't even as working as good as this guy. But you see I have the... I'll do a different video. I've got the 2000 watt... 4,000 watt peak Jupiter inverter right there. Uh, I'll show that in the next video. For now, I just wanted to go through charging the battery. So I have the solar panels up there. You can see that I've parked on a slope so that they're angled toward the sun. Um, when I hook this battery up, so there are five configurations here. Normal, boost, float, low, and recovery. And then you can, I just have it on normal, all right? But I don't have the light on right now. So you can see here, when I first plugged this in, this battery line at the top was blinking. So you see all these lines in the battery, the top line was blinking to let you know that it was charging and then it was at like 12.2 volts so now it's been topped off to 13.6 this is the solar array and then here's the wires that are hardwire in there to the battery chargers so now that uh, on normal is where you get it to target charging voltage and now that it's charged to 13.6 and uh, that's telling me it's full because this isn't blinking anymore I'm gonna go ahead and switch it to float which is uh, maintenance charging voltage so that it, it's fully charged now after a few hours in the Sun and now we'll cycle over to float by this. And then that's where it would stay just in general. Like if I just left it in here on the charger, that's where it would be. If it was actually in use, we'd go back to normal. So let's do that real quick. Let's go back to normal. Okay. And see, uh, right now there's no load. There's no power going to these or this. If you hit this, see that extra arrow popped on. Now it's 
charging the battery and the battery is giving output there. So if we um, wanted to hang these lights that came with it, as an example, Now, so that's, um, man, that is bright. Uh, you guys can't tell how bright that is because it's sunny out, but it is, I can't look directly at it. So now I'm going to turn that back off, unplug this, Oops. charge controller just fell, unplug this, put this back in that box. So... Now, what's going to happen is, this is the setup, right, for charging the battery. This is, this is how the battery will charge. I'll throw it in the back here, plug it in. Eventually, we'll have multiple batteries wired in parallel, and, or maybe two in parallel, and then two parallel batteries in series, whatever we decide. Then, just like we had before where this guy was plugged into, we'll use these, right? So this will power my amp, my amp, <laughs> my inverter. But instead of this inverter, we'll use the other one. And like I said, I'll, I'll do that in the next video. I wanna keep these short. That is a charged battery with the solar um, panels on top of the Forerunner. And all we have to do, we don't even have to throw this in the back. I just brought this to the house um, because this is going to be heavy when we have four batteries in there. But yeah, we got enough wire, see, that I can charge it on the ground. And then you can uh, get extension wire. I mean, it's as long as you can make this, right? Here are my, this is where it hardwires in. So same thing, like I have, I could literally just throw this on, um, I don't know, some extension cord, a 25 foot extension cord, whatever, hook it to this and then plug in here. The other option is also, instead of using this to wire on like that, could actually this output right here you can hardwire in to the whatever it's called the load right turn this on so right now it's not it's not drawing from the battery for the load hit that and now power is running down here where you could hook the inverter up in here but we're just going to hook the inverter straight to the battery because this thing is not going to be on regularly uh, to begin with. At first, this is my mobile charge station. Um, if we get some extra wire, because the, the clearing is like 100 feet, and the clearing is an easement too. I don't even own the clearing. So I could, where I can put the solar panels out there near the property is limited. So right now we're just gonna charge in the truck and then slide the battery bank under the cabin like you've seen and have power. All right guys, that's all I got for today. Let me know what you think in the comments below and I'll see you on the ridge.